a post-holiday gut reset in only four days. All right, I want to talk about something that you probably have never heard about, but you need to know about, and that's a weird hormone called fibroblast growth factor 21, better known as FGF21. And what you need to know about FGF21 is that it has recently been related to longevity and actually maintaining a normal lean weight. So fibroblast growth factor 21 is a really important signaling molecule. And you know I'm all about signaling molecules. Well, this signaling molecule turns out is elaborated in our liver, and it's elaborated by several things. First of all, complex carbohydrates, as opposed to animal protein, turn on the production of fibroblast growth factor 21. And believe it or not, that's a really good thing. In fact, people have shown in experimental animals that FGF21 really promotes longevity and, like I said, leanness. So we probably ought to be interested in that. Similarly, the presence of animal protein suppresses FGF21. Probably not what we want to do if leanness and longevity are what we're interested in. So is there any correlation to other studies that suggest that maybe this could work out well. Well, yes, there is. First of all, studies have shown that following a plant-based diet for four days dramatically increases human levels of FGF21. That sounds like a good thing. Hmm, where have we heard about four or five day fasting mimicking diets before? Oh, yeah, my good friend Walter Longo at USC, the head of the Longevity Center there, of course, promotes correctly a five-day vegan fasting mimicking diet where you, four or five days once a month, only eat low-calorie plant-based foods, and the rest of the month you do whatever you want. And what he's shown in animals and in humans, is that just doing that four or five days, once a month, acts as if you were calorie restricted for the entire month. In other words, he's asking for five days of your time to activate what appears to be FGF21. And all I'm asking is four days. Now, if you've read any of my books, you know that I have a five-day fasting mimicking diet in several of my books that is plant-based, and it's low-calorie, and it's a bit of work, but it's there for anyone who's interested. But I'll tell you what, it's after the holidays. You've been spending a ton of time working, uh, meal prepping, going to parties, you probably haven't exactly been following a <laughs> standard plant par paradox plan, and hey, that's okay. But we all need a reset. So here's my suggestion. Let's make this super easy this time around. Everybody's heard of the cabbage soup diet. Every few years, the cabbage soup diet makes a reappearance. It's trending right now. So I'll tell you what, let's supercharge a cabbage soup diet. And I want you to just do a supercharged cabbage soup diet for four days. And let's turn on fibroblast growth factor 21. Let's activate all that leanness within us Let's activate our gut and let's <laughs> cleanse from the damage we've done. Now, why 
cabbage, number one. Cabbage soup is really easy to make. Uh, there's a billion recipes online. There's nothing special about it. But what I want you to do is add some super ingredients that will activate a hormone that I talk about in Gut Check called intestinal alkaline phosphatase, IAP. Why do I want you to do that? It turns out that IAP is one of the better hormones that repairs damage to the gut wall. And I guarantee you, the holidays are one of the better ways to damage the wall of your gut that anyone's ever invented, and you want to repair the wall of your gut. So the cruciferous vegetables are good at this, but onions, garlic, and turmeric are super ways to increase IAP. And don't forget to put in black pepper. Why? There's a compound in black pepper that activates all these compounds so that you absorb them even better. So get out your regular cabbage soup diet, throw in some root vegetables like uh, Japanese radishes, like carrots, like sweet potatoes, turnips, parsnips, throw in some turmeric root and onions and garlic and black pepper, and eat that for four days. That's your meal. The other thing that's going to happen is that cabbage, as a part of a cruciferous family of vegetables, turns on a receptor in the wall of our gut that I've written about before called the R receptor, A-H-R. And what happens is, when these receptors are activated, these receptors tell your immune system, your white blood cells, to calm down, to not worry about what might be coming through the wall of the gut, and just chill out for a few days. And quite frankly, after the holidays, that's exactly what we all want to do is chill out for the next few days. Want more ways to make this more interesting? I know, I don't want you to be miserable for four days. First of all, you know I'm a big fan of corn, and I'm not saying corn, C-O-R-N, I'm saying corn, Q-U-O-R-N. Corn is a mushroom root-based meat that is in almost every vegetarian a freezer section of your grocery store. It's uh, phenomenal. It tastes like ground turkey or like pieces of chicken. So you can have corn grounds in your cabbage soup or you can have chicken bits in your cabbage soup so you don't get profoundly miserable. And that's actually a really good trick just to change it up. And the great thing is you can make your standard batch of cabbage soup and on day two or day three, throw in the pieces of corn or throw in the grounds of corn and change it up for a day or so. You don't have to do that every day. It just gives you more options. Now, is this different than the three-day plant paradox cleanse? Well, the three-day plant paradox cleanse I invented to completely reset your gut microbiome in three days. But it's a little more complicated than just making a big pot of cabbage soup and eating it for the next four days. And I think that's one of the huge benefits that will make it a whole lot easier to implement. No fuss, no worries, big pot of cabbage soup, you're ready to go. Now, some people worry about detoxing after the holidays. And the important thing to realize is most of the detox diets out there are actually toxification diets. And they're the last things you want to do. You don't want to do a lemon water cleanse. You don't want to do a master cleanse. This will release toxins from your fat cells and overwhelm your liver. On the other hand, stimulating fibroblast growth factor 21 will do the exact opposite. It will rev up your liver enzyme detoxification system. Another really good reason to try this out 
and we'll try it out together. All right, so that's it. That's my challenge starting on January 2nd. Let's all do a modified cabbage soup diet for four days. Put all the goodies I've told you in there as well. You're going to turn on fibroblast growth factor 21 and reset all the bad stuff you did in only four days. How easy is that? Let's go. I'm going to do it with you. If you found this video helpful, I think you're going to love this one. The WGA from Whole Grains is one of the leading causes of heart disease, leaky brain and dementia, arthritis, and even MS.